Good Sunday morning. Out of half and half, so I'm going to be using almond milk. Today's video was kind of short and I'm sorry about that. I didn't really do anything and I kind of went to bed early. But today I've gotten up early. I've made my grocery list of the things that Walmart wasn't able to get because they were sold out and a couple of other things that we needed. I need to go pick up some toilet paper and stuff and I can't wait to start cooking. I have some ideas and I'm really excited about them. So I'm waiting on Tiffany and we're gonna go head out, pick up the Walmart grocery order and then go get the other things and head home, put everything away, film a little clip for you guys and then start cooking. just went to Meyer to pick up a couple of things. I lost a nail. Um, I found some Mountain Dew Zero Sugar and Tiffany wants to go to Dollar Tree. Yeah. So we're gonna go to Dollar Tree. All right, everybody, we are home. We went to Dollar Tree, we went to Meyer. we went to Walmart, we have our grocery haul. Let's get into it. First, we're gonna start here. They were completely out of all bottled waters. So I figured some sparkling water would do. It's not gonna be as good as just, you know, regular water. Tiffany has to drink bottled water, so I'm definitely going to have to get her some bottled water throughout the week. But we got pamplemousse, and I have no idea. I like the colors. I bet they'll taste good. We also got zero sugar major melon watermelon flavored mountain dew and uh my coke zero from last week i never used it we got two things of sugar-free powerade the red the blue we got some blueberries not any moldies today a big thing of strawberries we got some mozzarella cheese and some parmesan cheese now I did end up at Meijer not realizing that I had already gotten Parmesan cheese, so I got another thing of Parmesan cheese. We got four bags of the green beans. We did eat a lot of green beans last week, so got some more of those. I originally wanted the Aunt Millie's one carb uh, white bread, but they were out, so they substituted for the five seed bread. I was okay with that. One net carb bread, Aunt Millie's, that's at Walmart. It's nice that you're able to find these options at so many stores now. Uh, the kids have already opened this, but I got a bunch of drink mixes, just the Walmart brand, Tropical Mango. I'm sorry, that light is just not allowing you to see things, is it? Strawberry watermelon, grape, you know, all those flavors. We got some tomatoes, some keto trail mix, which is just almonds, pepitas, peanuts, cashews, and pecans. Two things of original pepperoni. I got two avocados, four tomatoes. I got some turnips because I really want to try turnip fries and um, I've never had turnips before. I got a package of pasta zero. Two things of great value, original bacon, some dill relish, some Lily's baking chips, two packs of the mild taco seasoning mix. These are not keto. I don't know how they got in here, but yogurt for the kids. This keto cauliflower crust, six snack carbs for half of the pizza, uh, just cheese, comparable to Quest, some sour cream, some no sugar added ketchup, two things of pork chorizo. Um, at Meyer, I got the Mountain Dew Game Fuel Zero, two of those. I got a Froze Rose Bang and a Melon Mania Rang. I got the Shirtiki Pasta from Meyer. Um, this is the, just the noodles, and this is the rice shaped. There's two packets in each of these. I like those. They don't have that weird smell or flavor. Two things of half and half. Walmart got me hooked on half and half, thank you. I got this ghee from Meyer, some green chili enchilada sauce, 
some chili powder from Meyer, some green salsa verde from Meyer. Got me a Diet Dr. Pepper. Two things of tomato, this light. Two things of tomato paste. Two cans of cream of mushroom soup. This is also from Walmart. These um, less than a gram of sugar peanut butter cups from Quest. One net carb for two cups. Some chicken broth, beef hot dogs, hard salami. I also picked up some more salami from Meyer. Some hot Italian style ham from Meyer. And then I got some black forest ham and roast beef from Walmart deli. Some chicken breast, three packs of ground beef, some brats. I got two packs of brats actually. Some Italian sausages from Meyer. A couple of steaks from Meyer. And then Meyer had a deal on their pork, buy one get one free. So I got these country style pork loin ribs, buy one get one free, pretty sweet. Had to get some toilet paper. And then Walmart actually gave me this, which they didn't give me this last time. It's this little baggie. They gave me a bag to uh, ripen my avocados, a little fruit, what is this? A, like a, a coupon, fruit bites, for one a day, an Elka Seltzer gum, El Belvita blueberry cookie, breakfast cookie, and a Kodiak Cakes Crunchy Granola Bar. That's kind of cool. And then at Dollar Tree, I just got some of these and then uh, I wanted something to keep my dish towels in so I got two of these clear racks. Out the coffee. So I got the caramel cream and then more of the toasted coconut. All right guys, so that's all I got for my grocery haul this week. I have to cook something. It is 3 p.m. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna make, but we're gonna make. So for lunch, even though it's uh, almost four o'clock, I'm not ready for dinner yet. I am going to make a sandwich using this five seed bread, one net carb each, some mild cheddar cheese, some roast beef, some ham, some salami, slice of tomato, half an avocado, mayonnaise, and mustard. All right, here's my sandwich, cut in half, avocado. I put some of this uh, chili lime seasoning on it. I can't wait to have lunch. L liner, liner? You want to know how to make egg roll in a bowl? All right, so as you can see, I just cooked the ground beef until it was cooked thoroughly. It does have a little bit of grease left in it. I did drain some of it. I did season it with pepper, the McCormick ground black pepper and some seasoned salt. I also put up some chopped onion that I had in the freezer along with some minced garlic. And now I'm going to leave this little bit of grease in here because it's going to help cook the broccoli. So I'm going to pour this. I'm going to put this broccoli slaw, just the whole bag, just straight in here. This is like one of the easiest meals to make. And I'm just going to stir that broccoli slaw down into the grease of the ground beef. It's going to start melting the broccoli down. You don't have to use broccoli slaw. You can use coleslaw mix. You can shred your own cabbage. I just prefer using the broccoli slaw. I think it tastes good. It's got the little pieces of carrots in it. And I just like it. it tastes really good to me. So I'm just gonna cook this up and then you'll see me make some yum yum sauce and put that, we'll pour that on top of it. And this is gonna be dinner guys. And I kind of don't really measure anything after that. I throw in some mayonnaise, some sugar-free ketchup. And next time you see this, it'll be nice and whisked up and we'll be pouring it over some meat. All right, I went ahead and poured that sauce all over my meat mixture. Usually I just pour it on top of our servings, but I figured since we all like the yum yum sauce, I might as well just mix it all together. That way when we do save whatever we don't eat, we will have it already flavored. I'm just gonna let that kind of sit for a second and simmer and then we'll plate it up. So there we go guys, that's my dinner tonight. It's Sunday, happy Sunday, and whatever we have is going to be meal prepped for uh, food during the week, for the kids, for myself, what have you. As a little snack tonight before I end out the vlog, I'm going to have these peanut butter cups. It's two in a serving for one, 
and I'm gonna have some keto trail mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog tonight, guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I know I didn't do my meal prep yet, but I did a small meal prep by doing the egg roll in a bowl. There is plenty left that we can have that for lunches throughout the week, and instead of doing everything in one day, I'm going to be making a little bit here and there until I have a free day where I have time to do things. Things got a little bit hectic in the house today, so I wasn't able to fully do the meal prep. However, before I go to bed tonight, I am going to meal prep some keto chow, and I wanna say a big thank you to my friend, Sonny for sending me this avocado oil because in a previous video I had said I didn't have any. I did get some, but thank you so much because it never hurts to have it. This is what I use in my keto chow. You guys are really hooking me up with the almond milk, the avocado oil, all the keto chow, the pure. I appreciate you guys so much. I really, really do. Thank you so much. This is going to help me make my keto chow for lunches throughout the week, and I love you guys so much. I will see you guys tomorrow. I am going to you know what before i go i'm gonna try this right here for you i'll show you what it looks like literally comes out looking just like a reese's peanut butter cup <laughs> i would say this has a lot more flavor than the lily's peanut butter cups it doesn't taste like i'm biting into a straight up peanut butter cup like a Reese's one because they're softer they're more like gooier but I'll tell you this this is really good it doesn't taste keto at all to me and I'm really excited to eat the rest of it all right now I will see you guys tomorrow bye